Tyler, Tyler One Steinkamp is a League of Legends streamer that became famous for playing like shit. I'm not gonna beat intentionally, because I, I don't want banned, so I'm just gonna, uh, you know, turret dive a full HP Anivia, you know what I mean? Which is weird, because he's actually a pretty solid League player. Boys, you, you are watching a challenger streamer, how's it feel? And it's even weirder, because his shitty attitude actually broke solo queue. Tyler One has made it to Challenger, a matchmaking tier that's limited to the 200 best players in the region, usually made up of pros or pro player prospects, people who are being scouted because they're just that good at League of Legends. But Tyler One wasn't exactly pro caliber. First of all, Tyler One was a one trick. He only played Draven, a snowball -y champion that needs to get ahead as early as possible to make his game plan work. Let's go! I'm Tyler fucking one! Second, and this is the important part, Tyler one was as toxic as it gets. Damn, yeah, bitch, get the fuck out my lane! Pussy! So toxic, in fact, he used to advertise it on his YouTube channel. See, Tyler one did play champions other than Draven. You kind of have to know how to play multiple champions to succeed at League, since your character could get picked by the other team or banned. But Tyler one didn't play other champions. He ruined games with them. If you banned or picked Tyler One's Draven, or if you did anything at all in the game that he didn't like, what the fuck? He'd run it down mid. That meant running at enemy champions, killing himself over and over again to give them the golden experience they needed to close out the game. Not my fault. It's a miserable experience, because even the shortest online league game lasts about 15 minutes between drafting and loading in and actually playing the game. Someone running it down mid effectively takes away that chunk of your life. Wait, he's actually fucking serious! Holy shit, I thought- uh, That's a fucking joke, holy shit! What the fuck? You're not having fun, your enemy isn't having fun, and worst of all, one toxic jerk running it down mid is getting adoration from Twitch chat. So naturally, people started copying him. Suck it! Pendaki! Tyler One effectively found a way to ruin solo queue. His toxic attitude was highlighted by players like Meteos and Hi, and he even got in a long, strange feud with Riot's community coordinator and caster, Freak. Tyler One's not really that much of a personality, though. Like, he's a nobody, and his only marketable skill is being an asshole. Like, I think, I think Freak needs, you know, to taste what an alpha, an alpha tastes like, boys. Let's go. All that meant more stream viewers and more Tyler One fans copying him for laughs. Ironically, community figures criticizing Tyler One's toxic behavior only made him more popular. The whole time, I'm just, I'm just really confused about how a player like that isn't just completely permanent instantly. I think there's something, there's got to be something wrong with the system because there's always going to be toxic players. They put an eye on the toxicity at the heart of League of Legends, and instead of shying away from it, some fans embraced it. Together with his fans. Tyler One proved that there is a problem behind League of Legends solo queue. It's a system that requires everyone to want to win, but sometimes that's just not true. In response, Riot issued an ID ban to Tyler One. Not banned on Twitch, no. I still have that, but banned from League. It's the harshest thing Riot can do to a player because it meant that they would ban Tyler One anytime they found any evidence of him playing League of Legends. Riot, please. God damn it. That essentially killed his streams, because Riot could ban his account the second he started streaming. The inting eventually died down, partially because people stopped finding it funny, but also because the toxic vanguard had died on his cross. Meanwhile, Tyler One entertained his stream audience by doing this. If a meal looks good on your plate, it'll 100% taste good in your mouth. And this to another episode of Tyler Paints with Friends. And this. For the first for the first one I'm gonna hit up is orange. After I do orange, I, I, like I said, I got 10 more eggs. So I bought a dozen, boys. Tyler One spent the better part of 2016 and 2017 trying to show Riot that he had reformed. Well, I'm here to tell you that, that from LulTylerOne.com, you can pick up your very own 
mouse pad. Between hosting his own Amateur League of Legends tournament that drew in more viewers than some EULCS games, and a rioter hurling some heinous insults at Tyler, Riot found reason to lift his ban in January 2018. And it's fucking true. After 613 days, I can finally, finally play League of Legends without getting my accounts banned. And Tyler One's return to League of Legends on Twitch broke records for the most simultaneous viewers on an individual stream. Heads up, let's fucking go, baby. These days, Tyler One purports to be reformed. And to his credit, nobody's found him running down mid since his ban was lifted. He even made it back to Challenger with no complaints from major players. It, it's basically saying, wow, Tyler, you are a Challenger tier fucking player. How'd you do it, dude? How? Maybe having League of Legends taken away from him for all that time made him realize that his inting was taking League of Legends away from everyone else. Whatever the reason though, Tyler One's story shows us how fragile the social contract between League of Legends players really is. How one person with two spinning axes to grind can ruin the game for everyone. Also, how wearing a fake mustache and a Wonder Woman tiara can break Twitch records if you're willing to put in hours of toxic work. What's up? Hey, hey, Yaida Hoopy. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button.